you might be wondering, okay, if this is so good, why don't we use just this one strong sword all the time? Because there are problems, of course, with speed versus accuracy. Now I will show you running this in real time, how with the graphic card I have, it performs in comparison with the other one. So if we run just strong sword right now. So now I'm running strong sword and that's the, maxim the maximum that we are getting in this exact moment with speed. There might be some optimization, of course, that we can do like for everything, but in general, it's computationally very expensive and we have our time to get in real time speed, especially if we are running this on many cameras, or of course you can get real time speed that will be much more computationally expensive. So if you are renting graphic cards, if you are using Amazon, AWS and so on, you will pay much more for this detection. So you need to find the balance ratio between uh, speed versus accuracy. While if we run the same one, either with OC sort of byte track, they have a very similar uh, computational usage, then it's much, much faster because there is no processing. So now you see the speed, the FPS that we're getting with this is definitely much more than the other one. And let's now also do some tests on the other video sample that I showed you so that we can get an understanding of this algorithm. For example, this one, now just for simplicity I, and for having better visual, I put the ID in the center of the rectangle because otherwise they will mix. And we see that the ID 8 and ID 20, 23, we have some occlusion. I'm using strong sort with the occlusion even here. It's quite complex and we, of course, these are very, very hard scenarios when especially you need to identify people, either you work with the good camera positioning or you need something more advanced solution that will require special recognition and so on. Let's now test some other sample. There's another camera view. And of course, this again, as before, can give an approximate estimation you will not, you will never get from such angles, like the uh, very, very high accuracy, but you can get at least some good approximation of the tracking. And of course, this algorithm will work very well on vehicle tracking. Now, if we check vehicle tracking in general, the ID is very consistent, especially there is much less occlusion and the bounding box are much bigger. So when you test this with vehicle tracking, you will have a very, very high accuracy. Now, before we end this video, let me tell you what are the most common mistakes and pitfalls that you should avoid when doing object tracking starting from the poor detection quality so you use a poor detection model and of course it's hard to have a good tracking quality if first of all you're not able to make the detection of the objects correctly